church of great expectations. We are not self-existent, but instead we require a mother and a father in order to make it here uh, in this on this side of the world. I, can I tell you that Jesus Himself, when He came to this earth, did not come, uh, although He was self-existent. He did not show up in the flesh as self-existent, but rather was born as a baby, wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger. He didn't come as self-existent. And uh, uh, whatever the inventions are that we have these days, uh, they, don't, they don't just show up. I mean, uh, you, you drive a Jaguar and that jaguar didn't just, uh, uh, you didn't just uh, speak, and a jaguar showed up. Uh, you uh, drive a Mercedes, Ben, uh, and they, that Mercedes didn't just show up out of nowhere. It's not a self-existent. Uh, uh, when they decided to go to the moon, they rode a rocket ship, but that rocket ship was not self self-existent. And uh, I, I found out a long time ago that even a pickup basketball game is not self-existent. Amen. Uh, listen, when I was a youngster, we played pickup basketball and we'd be out on the yard uh, doing whatever we were doing and when it was time for the game, uh, I would say, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take John, I'm going to take uh, Charles, I'm going to take uh, 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 Mike, uh, and, and I picked the players for my team. But my team was not self-existent. But can I tell you about one that was, is, and always will be self-existent? His name is Jesus. Now, what's in a name? What, what's in a name? What? While many names don't seem to say much today, but we just name our children anything. So, uh, names don't mean much anymore. Uh, but can I tell you about some names that did mean something? Adam. Adam meant uh, that everything that God had created was in his hands. And Adam was the, was the name it all. It means to assign certain expectations because of the name. Right. Uh, my name is Fran, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, my wife is the only person in this room that has regular permission. <laughs> regular permission to call me Fran. Uh, but that's my name. My name means freedom. It means uh, it means to lose. It means to uh, to uh, uh, to be able to go about life without hindrance. Right. Amen. Yeah, listen, I'm glad I named friends because I've set as my goal in life to make sure that every individual has freedom. Amen. Amen. I grew up in Georgia, uh, excuse me, and for the personal record, but I grew up in Georgia during the days of separate but equal. And when I grew up in, that's my problem, right? When I grew up in Georgia, uh, there were certain places that I was not allowed to go. My, my daddy used to sell uh, vegetables to the uh, good, uh, uh, rich folk in my community. But 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 whenever he got ready to sell them, he had to go to the back door. He, he couldn't go in the front door. He had to go to the back door. And that, that's where I was born in that time, in those days. And, and, and the laws were not in my faith. They were not written for me. Uh, but rather... But, but, so I decided that I was going to make it my goal to change as many of the laws as I could 
so that everybody living, 
in uh, your life uh, and know that Jesus will still be here. Yeah. He said that he, he was sent uh, from everlasting to everlasting. Uh -huh. And I'm glad that the God I serve yeah. is a self-existent God. Yeah. He was before uh -huh. there was a beginning. Uh, in the beginning, he was already. And then while time is going on, he's already existing. And when time that he is will be no more, he'll still exist. Uh, along with the Holy Spirit and Jesus was the one that caused you and me to exist. And whatever, whatever we are, Jesus is the, is the someone who caused us to be. Whatever you are, know that, that he made me. And I'm glad he made me and shaped me in his image and life. I like what the Bible says, that, that God took a lump, took a clay. And, and uh, 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 James Weldon Johnson said that he rolled it around in his hand until he shaped it in his own image and his own likeness. And then the end to it, he threw the clay. And man... Man became a living soul. Man became a living soul. So the self-existent Jesus made me what I am. And the strange notion is that the earth and everything in it came about because of evolution. But don't 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 believe that. Don't believe that. By, it didn't come about by chance. Uh, somebody didn't try and, and uh, make a mistake and and then he ended up with what, what he did. But rather, God took his own time. Yes, he did. And when he took his own time, he made you and me. Thank you, Lord. And I've come to tell you this morning, as I heard it quit, Jesus is here to save you. Yeah. And, he, and, and, and whenever he saves, he, he recreates. Amen. Amen. Now, now, here's the way John 3 says it. John 3 says, must be born again. That is, you got to be recreated. Whatever you are, uh, it's time to change. I, I, I know you've been mad all your life, but now you can be, be glad. I know you've been mean, but you can stop being mean. You can learn how to love. I know that you always been on a downward road, but now time to turn around and get on back in a brand new direction. God made you so that you can be somebody brand new. I, 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 I tell you, my sister, my brothers, that Jesus is the self-existent one. And because he's self-existent, he was in the beginning. And in the beginning, he was with God. And in the beginning, he was God. And the same was in the beginning with them. So my sister and my brother, if you don't take nothing else from 46 years that I've been here, uh -huh. then take this with you. Jesus is self-existent. He doesn't need you and me to make him whatever he's going to be. He, he's already. He was. He is. And he ever shall be. Our uh, Heavenly Father, help us to realize that your son is self-existent. And that is the self-existent one. He'll always be present with you. Kneel down before.